All right. I was told I'm gonna be a star, big house and a fancy car. But the only thing I got is my guitar. Working nine to five all day, when I finally get my pay, at night I'm standing in front of you. We're gonna tell you what you're gonna do. Put your hands in the air, let me know your hair. Now lift them high, bring it on side to side. Come on and make my day, let my country boy get his pay. When it's getting dark, you're gonna join me back to my trailer park. So when you see me up here tonight, you might think those folks are right. But I'm just doing it for fun. A low hat but a worn out shirt. No dollars but an easy flirt. At night I'm standing in front of you. I'm gonna tell you what you're gonna do. Put your hands in the air. Let me know your hair. Now lift them high. Wait them on side to side. It's getting dark, you're gonna join me back to my trailer park. as an acoustic duo, it is possible-ish. But talking about, I mean, fast forward, we're talking about the future here. Is there future in the music industry? Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. This guy has a quarter of a century in the music industry working with stuff. Please do tell. Is there a future? Actually, I mean, the, the, uh, the end of business I work in, which is with the guitars and, and the music instruments, it's actually kind of fast backwards because everybody's looking like in the 50s and 60s and stuff like that. But uh, an interesting question is, do you remember when you actually bought or got your first LP record or for the younger generation, a CD record? <laughs> <laughs> That's pre the streaming yeah, thing, exactly. you know? And for you young, really youngsters out there, just Google it or just search for it. I mean, CDs, they're still around. They are, they are. But the thing is, the weird thing is that the music industry has changed a little bit, of course, but especially the music consumption. Because back in the days, as you said, when you bought or got your first LP, you listened to it from back. I mean, the most, you, you remember it when you got it out of the folder, you basically smelled it and you really put the needle r gently down and stuff like that. And you listen to it back to back, all tracks. Now, when you go on streaming services and stuff, you just, you know, Listen to your favorite artist, you get like a, a notification uh, that's, oh, new album, awesome. So you check it out, and after like 10 seconds of the first song, if you don't like it, you skip to the next one, don't you? Right? And you have kids. We discussed this backstage earlier. Yeah, this is crazy. I mean, even when your favorite artist, I, I can still remember almost all the lyrics of my first LP, which was Europe, Prisoners in Paradise. You don't have to. Uh, okay, yeah, but it's I, okay. No, it's yeah, fine. It's, it's fine. a good it's record. It's a weird it's platform a to, you know. Yeah. Still but I still like know all the lyrics from it. And now, even when my favorite artists are like letting out a new album, I kind of like scheme like one or two times for my three or four favorite songs, put them on my favorite playlist, and then I listen to those songs. But what scares me the most 
is the way my kids are consuming music. So fast forward, will we actually be making songs that are like 15 seconds long? Because my seven-year-old daughter, she's like, ba -da -ba -da. Oh, next. Ba -da. So I was talking to Anton before the show here, and, and I was like, is that our future? Actually doing like 15 or 20 second long songs. It's just basically choruses. Well, that's yeah. what you do. Yeah, yeah. What, what do you do? I'm a composer. What do you compose? Choruses. <laughs> it's like, what? Yeah. Really? But sure. ma maybe that's where we're headed. I don't know. It scares me a little bit. Yeah, it's really, really, I mean, take a look at yourselves and how you consume music nowadays. But as you can tell, we are kind of country rockers. Old school. Fast really backwards, old school. baby. Fast backwards. So we actually gonna play you another song, if that's okay with you? Yeah? yeah? And it's, n it's actually a tad longer than 15 to 20 seconds. It's actually 3.45, so uh, lock the doors, please. <laughs> and it's also our upcoming single. Yeah, it will be released in like uh, a month from <laughs> now or something like that. So Dude. that's kind of fast forward. <laughs> okay. Yeah, on, on it's, it's gonna be on internet. Have you heard yes. about that? On the internets. Here we go. <laughs> Remember when I was five years old All the things that I was told Suddenly just turned into a lie Daddy was drunk and mama was sad Never answered the question I had it's growing up supposed to be this way I guess it's all right Daddy's coming home tonight Daddy's gonna keep his word I know it I guess it's all right Daddy's coming home tonight he loves me but it's hard for him to show it I had some good times fooling around told myself put a bottle down the apple never falls far from the tree Time has passed, I have kids on my own Girl of my dreams and a place to call home I wish that I could be with you right now I guess we're all right Daddy's coming home tonight Daddy's gonna keep his word It's all right Daddy's coming home tonight I love you and I'm trying so hard to show it I just want you to see
Thank you. Thank you so much. And nobody left.